What's up, everyone? How you guys and gals doing? Welcome to the show, man. We're going to be talking about this new movie that's going to be coming out, I believe, in December. It's titled The Bike Riders. Now, this is going to be based on Danny Lyons' photo book during the 1960s. This is going to be a good one, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> It's been very unfortunate for us the last couple years or last couple decades, if you want to put it that way, that we are portrayed so bad to the public, so bad in the media that it is actually kind of cool that they're going to be making a movie based on somebody that was there, that was documented the whole scene back in the 1960s. Now, the 1960s were something else for bikers, let me tell you, especially motorcycle clubs. And Danny Lyons, he actually went around in the 1960s, followed the Chicago Outlaws and documented it. And you got that iconic picture of one of the outlaws going over uh, that bridge in Kentucky, I believe it was. Uh, it's all over the place, that picture. And it's recreated in this movie. Now, one of the reasons why I'm looking forward to this one, and by the way, it's entertainment. A lot of people forget when you're watching these shows that it is for entertainment. And that the movie industry, you know, they got to throw some drama in there. That way you'll watch it. If not, it's like, okay, you know, uh, he's riding a bike. Yeah, whatever. But no, they want to keep you going. But with some of the shows, they really went over the top with their drama. It had no reality whatsoever in real life of what clubs are supposed to be about. And that's why I'm looking forward to this movie, Bike Riders. Also be because it's based on Danny Lyons stuff. And Danny Lyons, man, you need to learn your history. Go uh, take a look at that because a lot of people don't know who he is, especially the younger generation. So let's give an overview of what's going to happen in this movie right here and the iconic photo is that one right there louis uh, louisville patch man were those those had to be the days man that's when uh the aoa well it was probably before AOA. no that was the aoa day right there uh they had the one piece charlie patch right there uh I guess they go on to say the upcoming movie will be based on a journalistic photography book by Danny Lyon that has the same name, even though it was written. And this is, it is kind of funny that they didn't use this as a basis. They came out with the easy riders and stuff. And I have to say, and I'm going to burn some ass hairs there. Easy riders <laughs> flop. I didn't like it at all. Uh, you know, it was about, I have no idea what it was about, you know, maybe a good acid trip. Who knows? Even though it was written uh, before in one of the most well-known films on the subject, Easy Rider, the novel by Lyon is widely considered among the best documentations of the biker culture that existed in the 1960s. Now, as you can see from that picture right there, the early 60s was more of a greaser type of look and then it just spanned out uh anything goes type of look uh when the vietnam war and all that came out now here's the story uh summary and this was provided by 20th century studios the film uh it says you will be an immersed in the appearance feel and sounds of the bare knuckled grease covered subculture of the 60s motorbike riders as you watch the bike riders which was inspired by the legendary book of photographs by danny lyon kathy comer a strong-willed member of the vandals okay yeah they're gonna put a different club name in there uh but we all know who they're talking about who is married to a wild and reckless bike rider named benny butler 
recounts the Vandals progression over a decade. So it's kind of giving you how it went from one area of the Midwest and started spreading out. The Vandals started as a local club of outsiders united by respect and their strong and steady leader, Johnny Hardy. Through the years, Kathy has done her best to negotiate her husband's wild character and his dedication to Johnny, with whom she thinks she must fight for Benny's attention. She has done her best to keep up with Johnny, Kathy, Betty, uh, Benny, and Johnny are in a position that they will choose between their allegiance to the Vandals as club and their allegiance to each other. This is because life in Vandals is becoming more per perilous and the club is in danger of becoming a more sinister gain. <laughs> now, there isn't no trailer for the bike. I, I, you know what? I still love that picture right there. Come on. Who can't? That is iconic right there. Iconic. And you, you know what? There wasn't digital cameras back there either. Uh, I guess there's no trailer for it. Now, Jeff Nichols is the one that's going to be directing it. He's from Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, and he says uh, the scenery and atmosphere of his movies are typically drawn from the South. In addition, he's well known for ongoing partnerships with actor Mike Shannon who uh, played a role and all that kind of stuff. Now, let's see here. There's a whole cast of people, and it looks like it's a cast of people that are really unknowns in this one. So that means it's just going to be better because known actors, they ruin everything. I'm just saying. But that's what uh, is coming up. There's a picture of uh, the scene right there. And it even, well, there's the Chicago, uh, Chicago patch with the vandals. Now, that doesn't mean, people, that uh, you go out and make a club named the vandals. Please, this is entertainment. Entertainment. You know, because after those other series, we had a bunch of schlucks that came out and made the same damn club and stuff like that. But yeah, that right there is the bike riders and i think it's going to give an in-depth look kind of through a dramatic type of feel of the 1960s because a lot of people they tend to forget yeah the 60s was a hardcore time for clubs but in the early 60s it was still a layover from the 1950s as far as the greaser look out there and it's always funny when you hear younger ones within the scene, they're like, oh, man, nice jacket. Man, I still had one of them old ass jackets, too, man. I've had one for over, what, 30 years that I got sitting out there. Old greaser type looking jacket. Nobody knows, man. That pure leather is warm and it keeps you dry. Let me tell you that. But that was an age of the rebellion, man. The 1960s rebellion was written all over that one. So it's going to be interesting to see how they portray how that club moves forward. Again, it's entertainment. And see how it closely aligns with Danny Lyons' book. It's going to be so interesting to see how that is happening. Let me know what you guys think. And I again, I think this is December that's coming out. I think it's going straight to the theaters or something. Personally, I'd like to see it <laughs> streamed on Netflix or something. But Because uh, no, who goes to a movie theater anymore? I know I don't. I just wait till it comes up on streaming or you to stream it right there from the movies, they say. Anyway, we're going to go to the second half of the show right now. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go over to the Madhouse or the Morning Madhouse show over on YouTube. Listen to it on MotorcycleMadhouse.com. China Dow's coming in right now. Rock on, baby. Well, is an in-depth look at the trials and tribulations of street gang and motorcycle club life. This isn't the run-of-the-mill book that doesn't give the goods. This book will go into detail of events that actually happened. All materials in this book have been approved by those involved. There is nothing poetic, nor is there any price worth paying for the life we choose to live on the streets. James Hollywood Machikari, Brotherhood and Betrayal. Join the Insane Throttle Members Only Club on YouTube or Spotify and receive exclusive content. Your membership in the Throttle Club helps keep the show going.